Now on Meridian, after many years, this is the very last edition ever made of the Australian hospital drama, The Young Doctors. idea of yours, Mike, throwing a farewell party? Yeah. Thanks for helping out, Suzanne. Not really in the mood. Yes, well, uh, are you going to keep on with the restaurant? How else am I going to get four square meals a day? <laughs> well, I think the happiest night we had here was when Dennis and Caroline got married. I missed out on that one. Mm. Well, he made a lovely speech. It sort of summed up the way a lot of us feel about each other here at the Albert. How about a speech from young Dennis? Yes, yes, yes. Come on, Dennis. Come on, let's go. Yes, come on, Dennis. 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 Come on, I really want to thank Dad and Mum for all they've done for us. Oh, yeah. I'm one of the lucky ones, mate. Lovely boy. Quite little kids for a son. Thanks, Mike. Graham and Eggie Steele had their wedding reception here, too. It's really been like a second home to us here at the Albert. It'd be nice to know we still have that. Yeah. For those who stay put, uh, there'll be a lot of people moving in different directions. I think I'll check out the kitchen. I didn't want to leave without saying goodbye. There's a lot of things I didn't mean, Mike. I didn't want us to part with that kind of feeling between us. Yeah. I said some pretty dumb things myself. I could never stop loving you. I never really wanted to go back. Well, your father will need a shotgun now to get us back. But I don't care if you don't. I don't care what happens. How long as we could get? I think it's about time this place had another wedding reception. Uh, all right, you can take that lot there. This place is suddenly full of echoes. Yeah, you need to me too. How are they progressing? Oh, a lot of tears from the patients and the nurses, but I think we're pretty well on schedule. Any plans? Take my cab in my hand and knock on a few doors, I guess. I thought you might oh. be needing this. Mrs. Simmons, what will we do without your coffee? What am I going to do with nobody to make it for? Uh, now, if I was a betting woman, I would take odds that any hospital worth its salt would snap you up the minute they know you're available. Mm. I'll just check these and get them back to you, Uncle. All right, Graham. No hitches with the patient transport arrangements? They're hardly likely to be the way you've got whole of the city helping us out. Uh, you two are going to be coming out to Bunnies later on. Mike Newman will be very disappointed if you don't. No, I have a few things to finalise. Well, I'm not exactly in the mood, but yes, I will be over presently, I yeah. Just want to have a little sort of look around first. They're the ones all this is really hard on. So many years. So many memories. So many memories. For all of us. Come on. 
Come on, we have somewhere special to go. I ordered sunshine. It couldn't have been any quieter. We were here. Maybe I didn't know. Ah, try telling Viv that. She'll be flaming. Sugar. I said I want something special. Come on, Mrs. Forrest. We've got a flight to catch. <laughs> Mrs. Forrest. That sounds strange. It'll grow on you. Having your last look around. Yes. What are you remembering, Ada? Winnie. At the time that Dennis and I tried to kid her that her marrow won first prize at the fight and it didn't fool her for a moment. <laughs> you will come round for dinner now and again, won't you, you and Jessica? I'll try and keep us away. <laughs> and you will go out to Bunny's, won't you? They are expecting you. Nobody's blaming you for what's happened, you know. And you are the superintendent. Well, I'll think about it. Good. Well, I still have one or two things to do. It seems so funny at this time of the day not to be worrying about my trolley round. <laughs> you know the person that seems to have been hit hardest by all this? Dr. Shaw. It was his whole life the other. Nancy had a lot of memories here. Mm. Medical and personal. I'll never forget the time I had to tell him that Erica had MS. Mm. Yeah. Graham. might turn into a wake. I'm so glad I was wrong. Tanya's in seventh heaven. You two look like you just won the lottery. I think there's even a little progress being made at that table over there. <laughs> oh, would you care to join us? Uh, yeah. yeah. Watch it, Newman. I might start dragging a few skeletons out of your cupboard. But you didn't say the operative word, join. <laughs> I want you to join my clinic. Which translates? You need a sparring partner and Sister Benson not your back. Well, I ought to be certified, but I accept. Subject to negotiation. All right. Uh, how does less money, longer hours, and washing your own uniforms out? <laughs> oh, like a return to the army, and it's a deal. Uh, what about you? Uh, you answering for yourself, or does the good doctor here make your decisions? Because I want you to join too. She accepts. We need the money. Thank you, doctor. I'd love to work for you. Uh, <clears throat> if you need somebody in filing, like I've had a lot of experience. Um... Well, think about it. <laughs> I'm not sure why we should be celebrating all this, but I'll get some more champagne anyway. Everything all right? Oh, we're fine, thanks, Mike. Imagine smoking a ticket on tonight's plane. I can't believe it. Well, I think it's perfect. You won't have much time to analyse the ifs and buts. I'll arrive with just the toothbrush. So. Here we go. Do you want to do the honours there, John? Sorry, folks, I wonder if we could just have a little... little just a little bit of shush. Um, gee, um, well, first of all, I'd like to thank you all for coming. And I'd like to thank you all for patronising bunnies over the past few years. 
Mr. Hyde. Catch customers, that is. No, 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 no. The doors to the Albert are closing now for the last time. Well, the door to Bunny's, well, that'll be always open. Uh, yeah. Catch customers only. Oh. Anyway, I'd like now to make a toast. So if you'd all stand, I'd... I give you... The Albert. The Albert. The Albert. And to another great guy who fought to the last ditch, along with people like Brian Denham and, and Dr. Shaw, gave the Albert the great reputation that it has today. Oh, come on, <laughs> Graham Steele. <laughs> so three cheers for the Albert and three cheers for us. Hip hip! find you here. I managed a couple of cups of tea for us. Oh, thank you, Ada. Are we even on? I think so. You know, I'm very sorry that all this happened while Brian was away, but on the other hand, he would have taken it very hard. He turned down a lot of offers to stay on at the Albert, you know. Hmm. Have you thought of applying to City, Ada? Oh, it crossed my mind, yes. But then Dr. Forrest came to me, told me all about his clinic, said he could use me there. I really don't know where I'll go or what I'll do yet, but uh, it was very nice to feel wanted anyway, especially by him. Well, I'll do a deal with you. Mm. I'll tell you the hot gossip from City if you let me know what's going on at the clinic. Done. <laughs> <laughs> well, we've got to say goodbye to the Albert. But that doesn't mean between us. Oh, of course not. You coming across the road? Uh, shortly. As the ex-medical registrar, I definitely recommend a top-up. Thank you. Cheers. Oh, hello. There we are. Grab a seat. Oh, I'll get you a glass. Right. Well, I couldn't find Raymond. I didn't quite know what to do with him. I didn't know whether to uh, keep them as a souvenir, or give them to security, or give them to the board. Anyway, everything is in order, so that's all right. So I'll give them to you, Graham. You can sort it out with Mr. Ridgway. Thanks. Well, yes, Newman, maybe we ought to find out how many times you are on report. You might just make it into the Guinness Book of Records. Well, you should know. You're responsible most of the time. How did I ever manage to share a house with you all those months? Simple. Livingston conned you. Yeah. She had you wrapped around her little finger. True, true. Pity the poor Japanese. They don't know what's coming, do they? <laughs> well, not until you've made the speech. Yes, as oh. Deputy Super and uh, the presenter of the petition from all these people, I think you should say a few words, John. Yes. So we have a little bit of silence, please, while we hear a few words from our Deputy Super. And if you haven't got your severance pay yet, slap loud. <laughs> I'm a man. A few words. Yeah, get fired, you're lost. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I have been a bit hard on some of you sometimes. That's because I believe that we owed it to the patients and to the Albert to be the best medical staff in the state. And, uh, as in my opinion, you made it. Period. Oh. Yeah. That's something that no one can take away from you. Oh. Okay, the Albert's closing. But if you've got what it takes and you have, other doors will open. So this, for all of you, is not an ending. It is, in fact, the beginning of a new challenge. I wish you all the very best of luck. Thank you. But for granted you'd be available for the clinic. Well, I'd be delighted. Not only that, but I'll be able to keep up my arthritis research, amongst other things. Will you be asking Brian Denham to join you as soon as he comes back? Well, I imagine he'll have other plans, which won't include working with me again. You know, he could have knocked me down with a feather when Dr. Forrest said he thought he might be able to employ me at his clinic. Mm, well, I think he's got big plans, much more than for an outpatient clinic. Well, I've turned my hand to many things in the time. I don't care if I'm general dog's body. Besides, I'll be working with Ada. I'm really glad things worked out with you, too. Well, I might have jumped my fences a bit there. You see, we've talked it out. And I could never really replace her, Arthur. But I reckon, at my age, 
it's a bonus to find a real true Kramer. And that Ada certainly is. I thought you'd be here by now. Yes, well, more than anyone else. This is a sad day for Ada. She needs to say goodbye in her own way. Yes. <laughs> Another one of Dennis's sure things. Can't nearly pack. Caroline's just making room for the kids. Yeah. Wouldn't want to forget them. All right, let's go. You help Ada in the packing, and uh, I'll get the coal in the car. Oh, nonsense. You've got your own house now. Can't you come too? Well, I'll be coming to visit. Here, look. I bought you a lovely duck. Every time you have a bath now, you can think of me. You'll put them away. Oh. Come on, Robert. Mum's waiting in the car for you. Oh, dear. I think I'm spoiling him for a cold. Hey, look, man. Thanks. Thanks again for everything. We'd never survive without you. Here's the tablecloth you and Tim gave me. <laughs> I thought it might look nice in the new house. Here I Here I am. Oh, I almost forgot. Okay. Good. You know where we are, don't you? like I'll have to. No way. The main cable's broken. One more person down there, the whole lot will go. Dr. Holland. Dr. Shaw. What's the situation down there? We're coping, but the patient will be much happier in theatre. In other words, we can't wait. Just to get the instrument. Mm. So I'll go we're going to a theatre ship for the doctor too. Right. I'll supervise here. Dr. Holland. There's been a delay. I can't get down to you, so I've sent for the instrument. You'll have to operate. They're all expecting a few words, you know. Oh, I think it's all been said, hasn't it? No, 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 no. Well, I suppose Brian would have obliged. <laughs> okay, can we have a little bit of silence here? No, don't panic, don't panic. The booze has not run out. Well, not yet, anyway. Oh, but before it does, <laughs> let's hear a few words from our great superintendent and a great doctor, Graham Steele. Oh, that's uh, quite a build-up. Thank you, Mike especially from a former intern who, along with a lot of his mates, used to describe me very differently when they worked for me in casualty. <laughs> <laughs> never. Holland, maybe. Me, never. <laughs> anyway, tonight, a lot of old friends are saying goodbye and going their separate ways. I've seen a lot of doctors and nurses come and go. I've seen a lot of you develop from nervous young beginners to fully qualified medical people dedicated to the job. I think mean, that's been the greatest source of satisfaction as far as I'm concerned, looking back over the years I've been at the Albert. So let's drink a toast to all of us, to absent friends, and to the best friend we ever had, 
the Albert. I have to go now, Graham. Thanks for everything. Bye, Jenny. Be happy. I'll see you out. Oh, no, no. I, I couldn't handle that. Well, take it easy. Yeah. You tell Holland that he has to look after you, otherwise I shall if personally come up there and beat his head in. I'll tell him that. Keep yourself close. Good luck, Nancy. First woman I ever kissed in this restaurant. <laughs> and I got permission to do it again. Thank you. I'll just have to wait, Mike. I've got to say goodbye to Ada. Sure. Bye, everyone. Bye. 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 Okay, everybody. Like the doctor said. Give Peter my love. You know I will. Tell him I... We all miss him so much. Of course. <laughs> That was the final episode of The Young Doctors. Tomorrow at the same time, the first of a new Australian drama, All Together Now.